So next we will go on the general procedure uh, for the AC analysis. Okay, before we do the AC analysis, uh, you need to make sure that the uh, the DC analysis have been done, and then you know you know the value of the Q point. So uh, you need to do the DC analysis and get the value of uh, collector current and VCE before you do the AC analysis. Okay. After you have done the DC analysis, the next thing is you need to uh, do the step 2, 3 and 4. Okay. Step 2 until 4 are procedure taken to reconstruct the circuit and draw what we call it as a mid-band small signal AC equivalent circuit. Okay. Mid-band small signal AC equivalent circuit. So how we can do that is we need to replace the DC voltage source with the open with the ground. Okay, replace the DC source with the ground. Replace the by the capacitor with the short circuit, and then replace the transistor with the hybrid pi model. Okay, once you have uh, reconstruct or once you have um, obtained the mid band AC equivalent circuit, you can proceed with the uh, analysis. So here. Uh, some of the objective, uh, some of the uh, outcome of the AC analysis is uh, input impedance, output impedance, and AC gain. Okay, so in this video, uh, we will show you, we we'll discuss specifically on how we can do the, how we can reconstruct the circuit into the mid band equivalent circuit. Okay, the, there, is, uh, there are three. Uh, main step so DC source to the ground become ground capacitor become short circuit transistor replace with hybrid pi model okay for example uh, we consider this uh, circuit so this is a common emitter this is common emitter because the input here is connected to the base and then the output here is connected to the collector so emitter is unused so this is common emitter okay the first step one is uh, we have DC source here so this is DC source replaced with the ground and then we have the capacitor so capacitor with the short circuit C2 also short circuit and here okay, C1 and C2 is a coupling capacitor so which uh, the, the function of coupling capacitor is to make connection between the input to the amplifier or between the amplifier to the load so this is C1 and C2 both are coupling capacitors but C3 here the connection is in parallel with a resistor emitter resistor so C3 here is called bypass capacitor. So this is what we call as a, this is bypass capacitor. Okay, C1 and C2 is coupling. Okay, this is bypass. So bypass means that, so the capacitor will provide a, a less, uh, a new current pass which is uh, which has less resistance so this will uh, make this will uh, make that for this example so most of the current will go through this uh, bypass capacitor so there will be less very uh, negligible current across the RE so RE can be removed so it can be seen as an open circuit so that's why there is no RE here Okay, so next, uh, after that, you need to replace the BJT with the hybrid pi amplifier, hybrid pi model. So how you do that? How you do that? So uh, see here, this is base between base and emitter. There, uh, there is a R pi, and between emitter and this is collector. We have this 
uh, dependent current source and the uh, uh, R node connected in parallel. So this is how we do the mid-band echoing circuit. Okay, let's do the exercise example. The first example is common emitter. So you see here, base is uh, input is at the base, output is at the collector. So emitter is unused. So this is uh, common emitter. And then there is no bypass capacitor. So this is unbypass RE. Okay, so what happened? Okay, uh, uh, one of the uh, the way to do to draw the mid-band mid -band equivalent circuit is by drawing or by starting the drawing from the input part. So the input here, so VI here is the input. Okay. And then you will uh, arrive at the capacitor. Capacitor is open circuit. So and then you arrive to this uh, node. So to, to this node. And this node is connected to the base and connected to the RB. And then you see the RB, another uh, terminal of the RB is connected to the VCC. VCC is ground. So here, this is RB can be connected to the ground. So this is OK. And then for this one, this is base. And you can uh, draw between base and emitter. Between base and emitter, we have R pi. And then voltage across the R pi is V pi. And this is emitter. Okay, at the emitter here, there is connection with the RE. So we have here, this is RE. Okay. In between the uh, emitter and collector, so we have dependent current source facing downward. And in parallel, we have small R node. So the value of uh, current source is gm v pi so this is a collector so at this collector point we have two two uh, current current path the first one is rc so rc is will come here this is grounded and another one is c2 c2 is a uh, short circuit so we have this v out Okay, can see the next example. So this, this next example is, is a common. This is a common emitter because this input, this is input at the base and then output here is at the collector. So emitter is unused. This is a common emitter. Okay, so... So we will start from the uh, supply or from the input. So from the supply, we have this is a VS here. Then after VS, 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 we have the RS. After RS, we have the CS. CS is short circuit. Okay, after short circuit, we have R1 and R2 here. This is R1 and R2. Okay, R2 is connected. Uh, Another terminal of R2 is connected to the ground. So the same goes with the R1 also connected to the ground because this DC is ground. So we have here, this is R1 and this is R2. Okay, so next we do the base and emitter. So between base and emitter, we have R pi. This is R pi voltage this is V pi. So this is a emitter. Okay, and see uh, from emitter to the ground, we have the bypass here. So when we have the bypass, we can ignore the RE. So it's connected, it will be directly connected to the ground. Okay, between emitter to the collector, we have the uh, current source here, the MVPi. Then we have here 
small r naught ESTM V pi small r naught okay this is a collector okay for the collector now we only have the RC2 so it will become something like this this is RC2 okay for this node we have here this is RC1 and another one is RL so so this is the answer